Hello everyone, I'm back again. And in my last video, I kind of showed how to set up slash... Uh, I did a review of the Xbox Series X. And one question I got, and I guess it kind of disappeared, maybe it was deleted, but I'm going to go over it because I guess there was some confusion about what I was talking about when I mentioned HDR. So first of all, we need to make sure that we're in HDR mode, which we're not currently because... The menu of the Xbox Series X is not HDR, so we're going to go into Mass Effect here. Okay, HDR is now on. Now that it's on, click Settings. You're going to go into All Settings. You're going to go into Game Mode. You're going to scroll down to Expert Controls. I said expert settings, so that might have been a goof on my part. And here I've got dynamic tone mapping on. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to change that to HGIG. Then what you're going to do, you're going to go to your HDR calibration. Hit next, adjust accordingly, so that looks about right, follow the guide on the Xbox, that looks about right, and that looks about right, and then hit done. And there you go. That's how you set up HDR. And mind you, this is probably still pretending that we're in dynamic tone mapping, so I'm going to quit that game. We have now recalibrated HDR. We're going to enter Mass Effect again. As you can see, it's very vibrant. Now remember that HGIG sometimes can be a little dimmer, uh, and that dynamic tone mapping can be a little brighter so you're gonna have to pick one kind of based on what you prefer so let's just see how this turned out Okay. And there we go. Now, if you don't like the way that looks, then go back to your HDR game calibration. You're going to go back to your settings, all settings, go into game again, scroll down again to expert controls. And instead of HGIG, you're going to change that to dynamic tone mapping. Turn it on. Now that that's on, we can begin. Next. Okay, so that still looks like a status quo. Okay. And there you go. Dynamic tone mapping. Boom. Don't know if you can see the difference on camera, but I did try to show you. So, someone asked me also about what I was talking about when I mentioned HDR uh, brightness. I guess they got confused with that, and that's fine. So, similar to before, HGIG really takes advantage of that. 
So before we go any more into this, okay, so you can't see it right now, but dynamic tone mapping is really overblowing highlights. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into our settings and we're going to go into game again. I'm going to switch it back to HGIG. Now that looked like it got a lot dimmer, but that's fine. So then we're going to go, whoops, nope, not that. We're going to go into our settings here. And we're going to go into brightness. And you see how it says default. And then what you can do is you can adjust the HDR brightness. HGIG is perfect for settings like this. Now, it doesn't always show up like this. Sometimes it'll show up, it'll say 600 nits, 800 nits, um, 1,000 nits. And depending on your TV, you can adjust accordingly. In this particular game, they do it this way. They adjust the HDR brightness by 1.1, blah, 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 blah. And then you can adjust it based on how you think it should look. So, yeah. That is what I'm talking about when I say adjusting the levels to say 600 nits or etc. That is what I meant. And yeah, that is how you set up HGIG or dynamic tone mapping on the Xbox Series X. Hope you enjoyed that video guys. If you did, smash that like button. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. It'd be a great time to do so. And uh, stay healthy. Stay safe. I'll see you all around. Oh, and watch this weekend. Because I think I'm going to be posting a PS5 review. Bye for now.